that's like saying um, that's like saying all people who listen to hip hop are drug dealers or all people who listen to soul are hippies. You, you can't judge an entire race or group or a party by one thought. Like, I've, I grew up in a Democratic household, but I can tell you that not all Democrats hate gays or whatever or whatever. And I can tell you that all, not all Democrats hate Republicans. It's just I hate stereotypes like that. And I hate when people try to classify large groups by one thing that just just so happens to be popular among that group of people. Like, yes, a lot of people in the world like fried chicken. Yes, a lot of black people like fried chicken. Not all black people like fried chicken, and I wish people would get that through their heads. Well, Lana, <laughs> when, you, when you see people uh, thinking in terms of uh, uh, animosity toward these various groups, we, we've got about two minutes in this segment. When you see people thinking about the animosity toward various groups, uh, to put it within uh, the African-American context, and you think in terms of uh, slavery, the Civil War, and then the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, uh, are you contending or are you saying that all of these groups, no matter what group they might, uh, what uh, religion they might belong to, have the same constitutional and civil rights uh, liberties? Is that what we're saying here? Everybody deserves a chance at life. Everybody deserves a chance to be able to walk through TSA without being double checked just because of the traditional dress that they're wearing. Everyone deserves a chance to be able to walk freely down the street without being called ISIS. Every black woman deserves the right to walk down the street without being called a, uh, I don't know if I can say that on TV. No, I'm not don't going say, to. Yeah, but, yeah, um, uh -huh. <laughs> and every white person deserves not to be able to be labeled as every white southern person des deserves not to be able to call to be called kkk or say some stupid stereotype like they date their cousins or something because i mean sure that that may have happened in the south but you can't classify a whole group of people by that one thing and that's just that's my biggest issue and i wish that there were more groups that that we're fighting for the rights of the minorities that people kind of sweep under the rug. Like, for instance, for black people, they have the NAACP, which is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored mm -hmm. People. And they fight for our rights, but how many groups do you see? And there are plenty of black rights groups like the Black Panthers and NAACP, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. But how many <clears throat> Islamic groups do you see that fight for the rights of Islam? Okay, people? so what we'll do, we'll take this second commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Impact Jazz. Mm -hmm. In my own in, in your world, own world. Uh -huh. like I told you about the airport incident, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's crazy. We were all going through. I was coming back from DC because mm -hmm. I was with the Junior National Young Leaders Conference. Okay, well let, let's say we, we say these like that all groups deserve uh, civil rights: thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth amendments. That's the right to vote, the right to citizenship. Right, they're citizens, and they they have vote. the right to vote and. Uh, they have uh, the 13th, 14th, and the 15th, and the 13th Amendment is uh, freed slavery and the no, 14th okay, so Amendment is citizenship. Abo ab abolished? Abolished slavery. Abolished. <laughs> abolished. Abolished, abolished yeah. slavery gave us the right to, to vote and the right to citizenship. That's right. And so. Everybody deserves their vote. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah okay. work it around okay. in there and talk about that. Okay. Some of these Needed in there. things that, that make us all alike in spite of what religion or what situation we might find ourselves okay, so <coughs> 13 slavery 14 vote yeah, and the 14 citizenship okay, and 15 so slavery and, citizen vote yeah and, and put much information on the importance of mm -hmm. voting too because we're in a voting season and whatever and then, and et cetera. Don't let Donald Trump. Huh? yeah okay you know, just the just that's what I'm you know talk about the basic constitutional rights that have they have uh, people have the Thirteenth Amendment. Black folks had because they were mm -hmm. slaves. In the Fourteenth Amendment, they became citizens, and the Fifteenth Amendment allowed them the right to vote. And now, we, when we talk about voting, this is where. You,